Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another home video tour. Today I'm at Eagle Point in Sky Canyon. I'm going to show you this beautiful three bedroom and a loft house with 2126 uh, square feet, 2126 square feet. A beautiful two story, huge open floor plan downstairs. Super excited. Now, the price on these homes is right now you can get this house all decked out with all the options, pretty much similar to what you see in a model home for about $490,000. So let's get into this video. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Jack Graham. I'm a realtor with uh, Simply Vegas. And today uh, we are in Sky Canyon. Sky Canyon is a master plan community in the northwest side of the Las Vegas Valley. And um, this uh, master plan community offers a lot of amenities for only $133 a month. You'll get community pool, community gym, park, clubhouse, and all that good stuff. We have these two story homes. We also have a bigger uh, 23, 22 and 2300 square feet home model and uh, we'll be uh, posting those pretty soon now this elevation has uh, a mediterranean elevation is what they call it with the stacked uh, veneer stone up front and then you get the spanish look with the concrete tiles we have a two-car garage 2126 square feet right now well the base price of these homes is about the same price as the the offering price on the on the spec homes all upgraded so uh they're they are now going towards uh, a model of only building spec homes over here which is um which is a little unfortunate but it does give the buyers a lot of uh a lot of uh leverage when it comes to the negotiation side you can see here uh powder room downstairs as soon as you walk in this one is, and then we have over to the right some storage underneath the stairs. Also, a coat closet. But when you walk in here, this is where the wow effect comes to place. Because you can see, you have a huge kitchen. Dining room is spacious. Nothing is feels crowded in here. This couch is huge. And you even have this pop-out for the fireplace, which is not included on most homes but some homes do have the fireplace as well but at four hundred ninety thousand dollars to get a house that looks like this one is kind of difficult to come by so let's see what do you guys think look at this living room it's the perfect size in my opinion you have plenty of seating space you probably fit 10 people on this couch uh beautiful big windows in the back huge window there from the living room and then this one is an upgrade about 12 grand of an upgrade but it's definitely worth all the money in my opinion if you can get it if you have the budget and then we have an extra window over here on the way on the kitchen as well so let's in plenty of light we have nine foot ceilings on both floors included here this is actually one of the included quartz countertops in this uh, floor plan we also have an addition here however so these cabinets from that little corner all the way out are an addition it's not included usually but in some of these homes, they do have that extension as well um, that you can do. You can see the kitchen island, we have three seats and uh, also the sink in the island. Beautiful upgraded cabinet. This is their grayish, brownish cabinet option. They put it into a lot of their spec homes and it's very successful because people really like it. We have some extra upgrades here like the under mount lighting on your uh cabinets which are like two grand you usually don't get those in the spec homes and then we have uh undermount sinks usually pretty much everything else uh is what is included in the house in, in the in the spec homes that they have by spec home by the way i refer to homes that have been uh have been uh, have had all their selections already made by the builder and then you get to just get the house move into it no design center or nothing like that which is unfortunate for some people because they say well I want to customize my house but on the other end it's also fortunate for whoever's buying the house because you can get a quick move in so you don't have to wait six months for your house to be finished which allows you to get way lower interest rates because of their buy down that they have right now I've been seeing my client well I just had a client right now that purchased a home here and uh, he got an interest rate of 5.375, which is ridiculously low uh, compared to the regular resale market. So that's another incentive that they have. Let's get back to the video. Now, we have also a uh, refrigerator, which is additional, or sometimes they, you can negotiate in the price. And then we have also your, uh, they usually put these actually in the spec homes, beautiful built-in 
um, you know, your mud area. And then we have uh, sales offices on this side. It's a two-car garage and a pantry behind the kitchen here. Beautiful size pantry. Now, as far as backyard goes, backyards that they have available, they're a decent size. On average, they're going to be about 20 feet from the wall of the house to the back fence. However, this specific one is the model home, so it does have a lot more square footage. Would you, what you can expect on these homes, however, is to get a decent sized backyard where you could fit a pool. It's not going to be a huge pool, but you could technically fit it. Probably about up to here where the end of the grass is, is where your fence would be. So that's the average size lot. And then right here, you would have about an extra five feet. So this would be the wall right here up until the end of the fence. So not the biggest backyard, but definitely plenty if you don't need a pool. If you need a pool, you could fit a pool. But it's going to be a little bit tight because you're not going to have much room left over. This one, obviously, they have the oversized lot. This is going to be something that they'll sell when they sell the model home, which they're so far from doing that. They still have quite some homes to finish uh, selling. As far as the included options, you do not get the built-in covered patio here. It will be with the pergola. Uh, sorry, if you want to get the pergola, about six to seven grand. If you want to do the covered patio with them, it's going to cost you about 12. Both covered patio options do come with the pavers underneath. Otherwise, you just get dirt everywhere if you don't get the covered patio. And the covered patio, I mean, I have a guy that does it for about three grand, something just like it. So you can save some money there also if you have the cash available to do it after. Now, fireplace, another five, six grand without the tile. The tile, definitely not worth it doing it with them. Now, as far as flooring, it comes with a 17 by 17 tile in the kitchen only. That's it. And then everywhere else is going to be carpet in the living room, dining room, and also the stairs and the upstairs bedrooms. If you want to add all of those, you're looking at about 12 grand or so for the downstairs here, plus uh anything else that you want to add on top so carpet let's say you want to upgrade the padding an extra two grand or something like that i did do a video tour of the design center if you want to go see it's a little bit dated it has a lot of the options have been uh, discontinued but it gives you a really good idea of the uh cost of the upgrades that you you should expect so you might get like a different kind of course available but the prices are going to be very similar because it's only like one or two years old as we go upstairs you see the stair rails and it's an addition it comes with a pony wall then all the walls are pretty much nine foot ceilings we have here. We also have eight foot doors included throughout the whole house, which gives it a nice, a nice touch of luxury. When we go over to the second floor, we'll notice here a pretty big loft. That's a, that's a big size, yes. Furniture choice, not a fan of it, but I mean, it does fit the space pretty well. It's kind of like a moon shape couch but you can definitely fit a huge uh, couch here going all the way from here down and on that wall then we have uh, your tv set up right here you have a bathroom that is going to be shared between those two bedrooms right there and your primary bedroom over here to the right but very welcoming big loft uh, i love this floor plan so if you're looking for something three bedrooms and a loft this is probably the best one of the best options out here, although there are some builders that are doing a lot of incentives near, nearby that you can get an even better deal. Uh, but that's obviously something that we will figure out uh, when when we get in touch to get you into the perfect home. Uh, you know, a lot of people just decide to go to the builder directly and do it themselves. And a lot of the times they make mistakes because they could have gotten a way better deal. But that's why you have a uh, you have realtors out there at least the, the experienced realtors, to give you a good idea of what's out there and get you the best deal possible as well. You can see here, uh, queen size bed in here. It feels pretty spacious. Uh, both bedrooms are about 11 by 12, giving you plenty of room in these bedrooms for extra dressers. And also you get a walk-in closet, so it's really nice. Same with this one, see that walk-in closet. So very spacious bedrooms on the, on the secondary bedrooms. The loft is huge. We got the nice stair rail that usually they add it when they do the, the spec homes. Your bathroom here is going to have most likely the two undermount sinks, although it comes with one if you just get the dirt lot and you build it yourself. 
And sometimes they won't allow you to do that just FYI. You have to get a more of a spec home that already has maybe the design, sorry, the structure options uh, chosen. Then you go to the design center, choose your package of upgrades that they offer. And last but not least, you're looking at your laundry room and some of the spec homes they do add the sink as well with the with the bottom cabinet which is nice and also the upper cabinets but some of them they don't have it it just depends on the house that they have available right now they have one available that you can get around 490 and that's before any negotiations from my behalf as we go over here to obviously i can't say how much they're going to come down to although i know because I recently got a client under uh, under contract for this floor plan, but um, you know, this primary bedroom it's about 17 feet on that wall by approximately 18 on this one, so it's a really good size. You, see, you can see here the king size bed has plenty of room around, and then you have plenty of room here even for a little retreat at the bottom of your rear of your bed. And last but not least. Your primary bathroom, you have two sinks. They're kind of separated by that corner. And then we have the walk-in shower, walk-in uh, walk uh, closet, and your water closet to the right. This one also gets a linen closet. When you get this floor plan, you can also option to get, because this is the included option as far as the size of the shower. Uh, but you can also get the big luxury shower in this model if they have it available. But this is definitely plenty. You can see the extended shower with a nice seat. It's like a three by six. You get the glass door, tile all the way to the ceiling. Now this upgrade is probably going to run you around seven to eight with all the tile that they selected. Um, but yeah, just food for thought right there. Beautiful cabinets. And last but not least, your closet. This one, it's actually a good size. It's very long and you can even add some extra storage. Uh, racks right here. You can double these up and double these up as well to give you plenty of uh, hanging space. So really excited about this floor plan. I think it's a, it has a really nice layout. It uses the square footage very well because you, the only thing you're probably missing in this house, because this square footage, you can probably fit a bedroom downstairs. Um, that's probably the only thing that is missing, but I personally would prefer to have a three bedroom and a loft with way more space, like the big open space that we have downstairs. It doesn't feel crowded. And three bedrooms and a loft, it feels like the perfect proportion for this square footage. When you start putting in a bedroom downstairs, it makes this bedroom layout a little bit tight. All the bedrooms start becoming 10 by 11 versus, you know, like 11 by 12, which makes a huge difference. And this one, however, does have the right proportions to have everything. Walk-in closets in every room huge loft, huge open floor plan downstairs. If you don't need a bedroom downstairs, this is the floor plan you want. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate, uh, oh, I wanna tell you a little bit about pricing, obviously out the door pricing on this one. You can get around 490, I can't say how low they're gonna go, but 490 is what they're promoting right now with some of these homes, and that's at the time of this video. Um, if you wanna build it and do it yourself and you're gonna get a house that is a little bit further out, you're probably looking in the low 500s because you're customizing the house now. And uh, last but not least, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you want all the new construction homes in the Las Vegas Valley and also my expert opinion on these uh, new constructions. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Oh, hit the like button and uh, look down, do down below. I have two links, one for new construction homes and one for resale homes where you can start your search there. Thanks for watching.